AMD just broke the internet during their Gamescom presentation. And for those who don't know, AMD announced their Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3, otherwise known as FSR 3. Now, FSR is primarily a scaling technology similar to NVIDIA's DLSS, which takes a lower resolution and upscales it to get a lot more frames. And this version of FSR brought the same thing that DLSS 3 brought, frame generation. The kicker with this is that they're making FSR 3 compatible with a ton of older GPUs, including Intel and NVIDIA GPUs. For NVIDIA, they're making FSR 3 compatible all the way back to the RTX 2000 series, the Turing architecture. Now this is a huge slap in NVIDIA's face because as you might know, DLSS 3 is only compatible with their latest RTX 4000 series cards, the Ada Lovelace architecture, and you'll need to pay an arm and a leg to get one, or just subscribe to the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. Another downside about DLSS 3 is that only few games are supported for it. This has been one of the major drawbacks for using the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. Not enough games that support DLSS 3. But now, that looks like it won't be much of an issue. The Ultimate tier will now have more games to use frame generation with FSR 3. And almost every base cloud platform out there is using a GPU with the Turing architecture or higher and will take advantage of FSR 3. Let's talk a minute about the NVIDIA Tesla T4. The Tesla T4 is a very popular data center graphics card. This card is being used as a base card by Amazon Web Services in every one of their data centers. It's also being used to run games on Amazon Luna. NetBoom and Joyarc run Tesla T4s for their platforms. Microsoft Azure has these running on their infrastructure. More about this in another video I have planned, so remember this. Now once again, the Tesla T4 is a Turing architectural card. These platforms who use it will now have so much more value. Those who subscribe to AirGPU on the lowest tier will now have their money go so much further. The Shadow Power Upgrade, which is using an RTX 3070 equivalent, will now be even more upgraded for a ton of games, just like that. Granted, that's if FSR 3 fulfills its promises. Almost all of GeForce Now's configurations support a Turing GPU, including the free tier. Games that run this Pascal configuration usually run games like Rocket League, which don't need frame generation. Boostroid is using the Quadro RTX 6000, which is also a Turing card. And for those Europeans still using the P40, this should be fixed with the 4K update and all Boostroid servers will take advantage of FSR 3. You know what very popular cloud tier won't take full advantage of FSR 3? The base shadow tier. If there was one cloud platform that needed an upgrade, it was this one. It uses the P5000, which is a Pascal generation card, equivalent to a GTX 1080, which is not compatible with FSR 3's frame generation. The scaling part might be okay, but not the frame generation. This would have increased the value of the base tier tremendously. Shadow, I think it's really time for you to start replacing these very old P5000s. And speaking of this, I heard that certain new base Shadow users in Germany are receiving the Quadro RTX 4000, which is a Turing card, which is about the strength of a consumer base RTX 2070. This would solve so many of our graphical issues with the base tier. Not only would we get FSR 3 for frame generation, but Nvidia's DLSS would now also be compatible. For those who are familiar with TensorDoc, the Quadro RTX 4000 is actually their lowest grade cloud GPU they offer. It's also the cheapest. Shadow, it's time to upgrade the base tier. This is not an unreasonable ask. Let us know in the comments if you want this done. Maybe we should start a petition. If you like my thoughts on the up and coming AMD FSR 3, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. AMD, you better not be fibbing.